Hello and welcome back to everybody on Cloud Fitness and in this particular video I am going to continue my session on UCX. So in the previous video we have already installed UCX into our Databricks workspace. We have run the workflow, we have seen the dashboard as well but we were about to complete the workflow running because workflow running takes a bit of time. So now we are going to see the complete dashboard as well. And apart from that we are also going to see how we can install UCX on the cluster itself. So now if you guys want to connect with me and book any one on one session you guys can connect with me on Topmate and also check out my website bhavdavedi at the rate graphy dot com where you can check out my paid courses as well. Apart from that if you guys want to connect with me on LinkedIn I will leave the link in the description box. So let's move ahead to the UCX workspace where we have run our workflow. So if I go over here I have already uploaded my uh, video on upgrade to Unity Catalog workspace UCX in Databricks. If you guys have not watched that video I do recommend watching these this video prior to this one because this is going to give you full understanding on the UCX. So now you guys can check out that this is the workflow that we ran as part of our previous workflow and this has successfully run. So now you can see that all of these um, cluster part or uh, all of these assessments for each of these workflows uh, sub uh, jobs have run and now you can see that this is the dashboard that we have uh, seen in the previous uh, video as well but I'll just refresh it again in the previous video we could not see the data because workflow did not run end to end right it was taking some time so now after refreshing you can see that it says that okay you have total three databases total 17 tables total two views your UC readiness is 56.7 percentage so now if you see this right it also tells you that table counts by storage so how much data you have in your DBFS root right all these details what is the external table type format CSV Delta what's the location now object type how much ready are your jobs your jobs are 12.5 percent ready you need to go and check out your jobs your tables are 11.8 percent ready your pipelines are 100 percent ready your clusters are 100 percent UC compatible you your permissions are 100 percent accurate now if you look at this assessment how much data is in DBFS root okay now cluster type not supported because your cluster might not be supported by UC if that is the case how many of those cluster are not supported 13 cluster right so like that you can actually see the assessment summary as well similarly if you look at this right it tells you your default database asset asset replication required you need to replicate it it has still not been replicated to UC so these are the details detail level things that you can actually see so for each of these tables right you can see that the storage is DBFS root you might want to go back and check what is the DBFS location where the data is stored similarly if you have any UDF user defined function so that will also uh, come up here I don't have any active UDFs as of now so similarly what are the mount points that you have so if you see that any of these mount points is not required you can go back and check your mount points as well similarly if you see if you have any cluster policies you can see them over here similarly if you have any incompatible clusters you will see it over here now similarly the jobs any jobs that is not compatible you can see it over here so you can see that this job is not compatible right now if you see the success is zero what is the reason of failure not supported DBR runtime so Databricks runtime is not supported you might want to check it similarly what are the incompatible jobs you can go ahead check it over here similarly any submit runs any submit run failures any object privileges any incompatible Delta life tables global init scripts you will see it over here any warning warning message does not matter over here but this is the dashboard that you are going to get now similarly if I go to the catalog over here right and if I go to my hive meta store I go to my UCX now just because I have already run the job right or I have already run the workflow so if I go to let's say table failures right it is going to tell me what all tables are not UC compatible it will check so right now I do not have any table failures. so let me look at pipeline so if I check the pipeline let me see if I have any pipeline information so you can see that okay these are your pipelines and they do not have any failure as of now so like that it will help you to go back and check the details 
Now, this is my personal workspace. I might not have too many failures or over here, you know. So, in your workspace, it will really help you to understand what actually needs to change what are the problems with your workflows so you know if you have any uh, workflow problems it will populate the data around your workflow problems similarly if you have any objects right uh, so everything uh, here is an object so you can actually see that it will have the data related to your object so if any object had any failure right it is going to show you that okay this cluster type is not supported so this is the failure right so this will actually help you a lot similarly if you go you have this cluster over here. So right now what we have done is we have used CLI to install UCX in the Databricks. Right now, if you do for any reason, you do not have CLI or there is any issue with the networking part, you can also, uh, you know, install UCX using the cluster itself, using the cluster web terminal. So if you click on the apps over here, you have the bash terminal running already over here. You click on this web terminal, it will redirect you to a web terminal where you can run a set of commands and then you can install the UCX as well here. So I will leave the documentation as well in the description box so you can go ahead use all these commands step by step in order to install it on your system so if you see over here if i start installing it you know i already have it installed so it might not uh, be able to install it will actually show up that it's already installed so you can see here it is installing my python version 3.10 over here let me just simply click on enter and then now uh, you can see it has failed to fetch over here and probably uh, you know this might be a connection issue itself uh, i will check that part but eventually if you see over here these are the set of commands that you can run even on the web terminal and get this installed i already have installed it in my workspace any which way so if you see over here these commands uh, here you are setting up the Python version and after that eventually we are just checking the Databricks CLI version that is installed and then we are just defining the host and token and after that you know uh, here you can use the Databricks lab install UCX command now the moment you use that again you will be able to install the Databricks labs using the web terminal as well so this is one way you guys can try any way out i will leave this link as well in the description box but i hope you understood the ucx end to end and how it can be actually implemented in databricks it is very useful in case you are migrating your uh, you know workspace to unity catalog so i hope you like this video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for being till here